Hello everyone, and welcome to this quick overview of the Ormas software, the online widget. And if you click on the link uh, that is provided through our database, you will just go directly to this page, which is basically where the widget is placed by Dr. Luzbe Nicola. Um, and it's completely free to use. It's very easy to use also, so you basically can select the units that you want here, megapascals, kilopascals, PSI or PSF. Once you have these units, these are applicable for the whole, uh, for all, all everything. Um, and then you need to select the input parameters which are shown here. For the Hook and Brown criteria, you, you need the uniaxial intact strength rock mass, and the geological strength index, the material parameter for intact rock and the disturbance factor. And Hook and Brown provide guidance for those. So you can use these values. Uh, a material that is stronger will have a higher sigma CI. And uh, a material that is not broken and is fresh will have a higher GSI. Different types of rock types, a geological type, siltstone, claystone will have different types of M values. And the disturbance factor is a disturbance for, or um, to consider due to, to mechanical or significant relaxation of the rock mass. If you're not sure what values to select, this would come out of your field data, but basically you can select here, this click on this plus symbol and get some guidance, which was provided by, by uh, Professor Hook and, uh, and Brown and use that to select your values. Similarly to the GSI, this is a famous figure that shows the surface conditions and the structure, and you can click somewhere and get the value. And you can see as I click in different places in the chart, this GSI value is used, I can click OK and get a low GSI value. So you use these values, and as soon as you do that, so if I change this Sigma CI from 30 megapascals, uh, let's select something like, you know, something higher, what you will see is that the, the charts on the right will be automatically updated. So the axis change and you have an updated value. The GSI, if I change from eight to 50, you see the update. And so you have here Sigma one and here Sigma three, and you can read off values if you want, or you can go here and kind of see the shear stress, normal stress, which is a non-linear strength, which is what the hook and brown is. If you do select uh, different values for sigma three max, so this is the sigma, the minor principal stress, the maximum, uh, uh, the maximum value. You can actually use that to linearize the envelope and calculate the equivalent linearized envelope that fits the non-linear envelope. So you can see that for sigma three max of seven point five megapascals, I have this C and this friction angle. If I change that to something smaller. I have a different C and a different friction angle. And, and you can see that this, this changes those, because the envelope is nonlinear, the smaller the sigma three, the steeper the, the equivalent linearized envelope is, which means a higher friction angle and a lower cohesion, okay? Finally, you can also, as an add-on, calculate the, the modulus of the rock mass. Here is the, the intact modulus, that you can start and, and use here. It goes through the equation provided by Hook and Brown, and you can calculate the rock mass modulus calculated here. If you want, you can export the data from the figure here, just as JPEGs, but also there's this cool here button where you can explore the data in a CSV value. And then I have this data with all the what you see basically in the plots, as well as input and output, and plug this in in some other analysis if that's what you're doing. Overall, this is a really easy to use widget for your that you can even use in the field when you're doing this type of calculations. Anyway, that's all from from us. Uh, hope you found this useful, and um, uh, let us know what you think. <laughs>